Backstage here at Ballpark Brawl, and I am here with the man who always calls it right down the middle, Bill Alfonso. Bill, welcome to Buffalo. I love it. You've been to Buffalo often. You've been here several times. You were at a Ballpark Brawl last summer when you came in the Man Sabu in the three-way against Teddy Hart and AJ Styles. I was right here, Daddy, and in fact, I love Buffalo because I get to watch WrestleVision 3 o'clock every Sunday. Excellent, Bill Alfonso. This shows you have good taste, but we know it all along. For those who are just recently familiarized yourself with Bill Alfonso through the Hardcore hum- Homecoming and the ECW pay-per-view. Oh, that was great, man. And you, you, man you managed Rob Van Dam. You managed Sabu. But tell us about your background, how you got into business as a referee. Oh, it goes way back. I was always a big fan of wrestling, just like everybody else. And I wanted to be a wrestler, but I grew up to be 155 pounds soaking wet, so there was no chance in hell of Bill Alfonso competing in the ring. The next best closest thing, refereeing. I'm right in the middle of it. And it just took off from there. This is my 25th year in the business. It's been 25 glory. Do you think it's a coincidence that it's been the best 25 years in the history of the business? Is that a coincidence, you think? No, I think, uh, you know, I've been around it so long. And it's always, it's had its ups and downs, you know. It's like everything else. You have been a wrestler, too, though. You've you wrestled with Beulah McGillicuddy. You oh, and- yeah, I kicked her ass good. And, uh, you and Todd Gordon got into it once, as I recall. Yeah, Todd Gordon and I go back. He was, of course, the founder of ECW, and I was an anti um, uh, guy, anti violence. When I first came in, I was fresh out of WWF in '93. Um, so it was more family entertainment. And then when I came to ECW, you know, it was so hardcore. It was a new, new uh, revolution of pro wrestling, and it was changed the history of wrestling. And um, I was anti violent until I got to hook and it hooked me and now I'm violent too. Now Bill some though are worried about when the initial ECW pay-per-views you bet against the wrestler you were managing the Taz Sabu match was, were those rumors true or is that just something the media, a lie the media was spreading about you? Well I've been dumped on my head so many times I can't remember that incident uh, but it all worked out good You're here right now? I'm here right now A lot of people would like to know Bill Alfonso, you're, you're a high energy in- individual, you have a lot of energy what do you do in your spare time? Is there anything you do to relax? What are Bill Alfonso's hobbies? Well, I like women. I like massage parlors, Daddy. I like strip clubs. I like good alcohol, Daddy. I like to party hard and uh, work out. And I like to keep my, uh, my uh, strength up. And I, the, I, I run. I run a lot. Are you actually not running? Marathons. And, oh, really? Yeah. What, what, what's the furthest uh, marathon you run? You run like the New York Marathon or Boston Marathon or anything like that? No, I do the uh, Tampa Marathon and then uh, Miami. I keep it in. in house, but I would like to compete in that level. But those guys are really uh, tough. And I've been on the road for 25 years and my body can't take the abuse no more. I get up like I'm 75 years old. I got steel plates in my arm and, uh, you know, shoulder surgeries and back surgeries and knees. And I'm only a referee, so, you know. Bill, any advice you would have, and we'll close on this note, to anybody who would want to... up, Daddy. I can talk all night long. WrestleVision loves me. Don't close this thing up. Let's keep going. Okay. Bill, um, any advice to anyone who would want to get into the business? What would you tell them to do? Um, I don't know. It's a tough business now. It's not like it used to be where there was territories all over the United States where guys can go and train and work out and, and, and learn the business. And there's only one big company now, but... Now there's a few small companies popping up here and there and trying to pick up the, the rhythm again, trying to um, give uh, places to work for these young guys that want to get into business. It's real tough, real tough right now to, to uh, get in the wrestling industry. Very hard. Bill, you met, you're a wrestling official, some renowned. Do you wrestling officials have it tougher than officials in other sports such as baseball, football, hockey? What would you say to those officials in other sports, referees, who feel that they have a tough job, or they make a hit with a foul ball or a puck or run over by a line? Those guys, it's a seasonal thing for them. Those guys work, uh, you know, a few times a year. Pro wrestling is nonstop, day after day, month after month, year after year. I've worked, uh, um, I'd say, uh, my longest run without a day off was uh, 370 days every night. Um, a, a different town, 
driving new shiny cars and speeding my young life away. I mean, it was hard. Wrestling is hard. We don't get any breaks. I mean, I turned 33 years old in Japan. I spent Thanksgiving in Atlanta by myself. I missed all the birthdays. It's real tough business. I mean, you're gone all the time. Tell us about the Japanese scene. I mean, you were there with the ECW. Oh, I love Japan. I've been there. I'm one, this, uh, I'm one of the few referees slash managers that have been to Japan. I've been there 13 times. I, I refereed uh, um, a match in front of 65,000 screaming Japanese. It was Fujinami against Ric Flair, the first time the big joint venture where uh, WCW and, uh, and Japan did a joint show, and it was great. I love Japan. You've been all over the world, as a matter of fact, even to Canada. Oh, Canada kicks ass, too. I'm sure Canadian fans will appreciate that. Bill, it's an honor, I can say this, it's honestly an honor to be here with you, a man who's done it all, officiating, managing. In fact, as you referenced to earlier, you were thought of so highly by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission, they appoint you as a special troubleshooting referee in ECW. Oh, they love me, and I appreciate you saying that. Um, I'm a legend in my own mind. It's just I've been around for so many years that, I mean, if you don't know me personally, you know who kind of who I am, or you're that guy that blows a whistle, or all the guys like me, but um, wrestling's been good to me, and I'm, thanks for saying that. Bill Fonzel, wrestling's been good to you, but you're giving so much back to our great sport. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to see you here. Thanks, Daddy.